everyone, I'm Dr. Twem, and today I'm going to talk about my YouTube channel. When we talk about our Instagram page, it's pretty obvious now that it's all about uh, live interviews, especially international ones. They are in English and uh, people around the world can get benefit from them. But when we talk about our YouTube channel, it might be confusing for some people, which is natural because usually YouTube channels are devoted to one specific topic and our YouTube channel is not like that. And I'm trying to collect uh, people who are multi-dimensional from all over the world so that we can share the same interests together. And let's see if I, I will be successful about that or not. And you guys can help me through this for sure. <clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome. Thanks for joining the chat. Uh, Clarissa, Furkan, Melis, uh, Fredio, Diego, if I pronounce it correctly, uh, Anyut. Thanks everyone for joining us today. So the thing I want to talk about is related to the playlist in our YouTube channel, because each one of them follow a certain uh, go. And for example, let's say you are interested in metal music. So you can follow that playlist and you don't need to just uh, activate the notification so that you will receive all the information from our YouTube channel. But the thing I want you guys uh, to do is to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that I can provide more videos for you there. So <clears throat> starting with the first playlist, this is related to uh, Premiere. It means that uh, Dr. Twem Premiere is all about our new projects. Doesn't matter if it's about music, about movies, all of them are there. And also I select uh, our best live interview from our Instagram live. So I will also include it there. For example, during the last month, uh, Henka from Children of Bottom was the best as I noticed <clears throat> Sorry about that. Among the uh, live shows. And by the way, today, since this is a solo show, that's why you guys, whenever you have a question about our Instagram, about our YouTube or uh, any comment you may have, please share with me. Uh, I will for sure check all your comments here. And the other playlist uh, I can talk about is related to Dr. Twem Next. This is the title of that playlist. And I include the videos related to our next live shows there. So for our Instagram, as you know, all of our interviews are live. But I'm going to include also some offline interviews in the future. But for those ones, I will share it in a specific playlist, which I will talk about it later. And for our Dr. Twem next playlist, also I include our uh, video clips there. As you know, recently I have recorded some, uh, one for example related to Severus Snape, the other one, the teacher in the Little Nightmares. So I will uh, keep posting uh, such videos and you will see uh, more of them. For example, I already announced one related to Agent 47, the other one related to En Nombre de la Mor series. And uh, when I say coming soon, maybe it will be created a few months later. It's not just, for example, next week or something. So I will appreciate if you will be patient about them. Because for En Nombre de la Mor, fortunately, I received very good uh, feedback from it and people are waiting for it. So I'm doing my best to finish it most probably uh, in the next six months. Uh, because I started to watch the whole series to get a better idea. And as you know, this is not a short series. For those who don't know which series I'm talking about, this is a, this is a Mexican series named uh, En Nombre del Amor, In the Name of Love. And I suggest you guys to watch it. It's not new. It's actually maybe for 20 years ago or 10 years ago. I don't know if you guys know. Also, let me know. Agent 47 is very interesting. Thank you. So I'm also working on that. Actually, that one will be uh, made sooner than for sure that uh, TV series. But I keep 
uh, letting you guys know uh, what are the next project inside this playlist, Dr. 2M Next yeah, on YouTube channel. So the other playlist uh, is named Premier International. So this one is not related to my own project. It's related to our guests or sometimes those who uh, I follow. For example, let's say uh, I didn't have a have an interview with Nightwish, Nightwish music band yet, but suddenly we I see there is a new music video from Nightwish and that's very interesting. And I will share with you guys there in Premiere International. At the moment, uh, I just included uh, four videos there. Recently, for example, uh, Alin Hop uh, uploaded a new cover, which was very interesting. For example, I shared with you there. Also some uh, Russian music, but for Russian music, we also have another playlist, which uh, I will talk about. So another playlist named Dr. 2M video clips. So inside this uh, specific playlist, I will include uh, our short movies. So, so far you haven't seen our short movies uh, because uh, there are some projects going on and I already announced it on our Instagram, like uh, Farbot's uh, Desperate Online Dating, or for example, reporter Michael, I just sent a, a test related to that. But you know, for reporter Michael, we should wait until uh, we get rid of this uh, coronavirus because uh, the reporter should go through the city and you will see about it. I will for sure uh, announce some advertisement related to that. So another playlist, Dr. Twin Music. Uh, as you know, uh, I also try to compose music and recently I talked with Shahid actually and I explained that I'm not that good with composing music using electric guitar. I usually do cover for that, but uh, for in general electronic music, something like that is okay. So for that, I try to do my best. It's not that special. It's not a big deal, but if you guys are interested, you can also check it out on our Dr. Twem music playlist. And also, as I said, I do covers. Uh, I share the new covers also with you. Uh, the only one I share with you was related to uh, Nightwish uh, music band, but I'm doing my best to share more. And sometimes we have collaboration with other musicians, like the one that I want to explain now is not a big deal, but anyway, for example, I was back vocal in uh, one of the uh, songs of Belladonna music band. I also share it on the same playlist. Uh, but when I say back vocal, they asked uh, their fans to contribute. And uh, it, it was not a professional contribution, I would say. But anyway, I would share such things also inside that folder and you can check them out. So as you know, uh, for our live shows, I also try uh, to... Uh, upload them also on my YouTube channel, but there it's more organized because there are some folders. And if you are interested, for example, on a specific topic, then uh, that would be nice if you follow the playlist so that you can uh, see exactly the interviews, which is related to your favorite topic. Let's say, for example, one playlist is named interview with scientists. Then if you are interested uh, in such interviews, like for example, with psychologists, uh, I usually upload them there. Like I had interview with Dr. Farid Holakwim, and as I understood, people like that one. And for such uh, interviews, I will put it in, in that playlist. And for example, we have playlist name uh, interview with musicians and also another one interview with vocalists. I try to separate uh, these two because uh, I understood that some guys are just interested in voc uh, just the interviews related to vocalists. So, uh, but some people, they like to know more about the musicians. That's why I try to separate uh, those categories. And sometimes a musician is a vocalist as well, but uh, I do my best that somehow try to partition them as much as possible, not to have uh, one interview in several folder, but sometimes it happens and this is inevitable. And interview with YouTubers. Also, as you know, I'm interested to interview uh, with 
such guys like uh, YouTubers, like uh, podcast hosts, gamers, models, all of them I included uh, inside the same. Like, uh, for example, we had interviewed with uh, those who are teaching languages in uh, on YouTube channel or those who are sharing uh, their uh, gameplay, for example, in uh, YouTube channel, like the walkthrough inside one game, for example, they, they usually share it on their YouTube or Twitch, but I'm focused on YouTube there. That's why I usually have interview with them that they are also active on YouTube and cosplayers. Of course, uh, we also have interview with them because what they do is interesting. And with them, we will talk about uh, different topics like the one we will have next week. Uh, it will be about also Detroit become human uh, video game, which could be interesting for many people. And we will go through it in details together. Uh, Chris Dusha, thanks a lot for your comments. Yeah, we're very interested in every everything connected to psychological topics. Of course, uh, we will have it uh, inside the interview with scientists playlist for sure. Okay, so we have another playlist named interview about traveling. As you know, I already done only one interview related to this topic. And it was related to St. Petersburg city. And I'm trying to do, to have more, like if you are in a city that you think that your city would be interesting for others to know more about, why not please contact me and uh, we can talk about it in our live shows. Like for example, let's say uh, you live in Monaco and you want to talk about it. Not just, I mean city, just well, sometimes a country, it could be also included. Like some countries that we don't know about that much, like you are in Malta Island, then you want to talk about your country. You are in uh, Croatia and you want to talk about your country. So it's possible also, or a city, a specific city, like let's say, for example, you are in Vladivostok in the Eastern part of Russia. And it might be interesting for people to know more about uh, that city. So of course, uh, let us know also if you are interested to be in our live shows and talk about your city or as a traveler, if you are interested to share your views about your previous experiences in different countries. And uh, interview with athletes and dancers. I uh, consider both of them in the same playlist for the time being. Later, maybe I partition them into two different playlists, but for the time being, uh, they are together inside this playlist interview with producers. And also we have interviewed with actors, as you know, and uh, I try to also uh, partition these two because I already uh, talked with many actors or many uh, producers. And also for producers, I also consider music producers in the same playlist. And okay, some other uh, playlists which are not related to our interviews, like Top Music International. This playlist is very new. That's why I really need your contribution to that. Because for other genres like rock and metal, we have a certain playlist for that. Again, for Russian music, we have a certain playlist for that. But I want to include the, those music uh, that are not included on those a playlist, but internationally, they are interest, interesting to listen to. And doesn't matter from which time, maybe 30 years ago. So if you know a music, especially pop music can be inside this playlist. So if you know a music which is not already in that playlist, let me know so that I can also share it there with everyone. It would be wonderful to get more information about cities all around the world. Yes, uh, I agree with you. And uh, that interview uh, with the one from St. Petersburg uh, was very interesting. I was excited about it to see your feedback. Fortunately, I received very good feedback related to uh, traveling. So hopefully we will have more. And as I said, you guys, whenever you want to talk about your city or country, let me know. Uh, then we may talk about it together in one of our live shows. 
So uh, for the top music international that I was talking about, uh, my plan is to reach it to a hundred videos. So it's like a top a uh, hundred music videos of all time inside the same playlist. At the moment, I just selected 10, but with your contributions, I'm sure we can make this playlist uh, much more interesting. And another playlist, top rock and metal music. So I've included some interesting uh, rock or metal concerts in this playlist or also some music videos. Uh, again, if you want to contribute to and this playlist, I would really appreciate it because uh, it was not like uh, I was following all rock and metal music consistently. That's why you guys can help me significantly for uh, getting this playlist uh, much better. And top video games and also top movies and series, two different playlists. And uh, I try to include those movies, which I gave already score more than eight in IMDb. If you know about IMDb, this site uh, is related all about movies. So you can rate the movies that you liked or maybe you disliked and uh, it will really help uh, movie producers and promoters to think about what contents they want to work in the future. And IMDb could be very useful for that. So uh, if you are not on IMDb, I really suggest you guys to give it a try. This website is very interesting. And those who are uh, interested in movies, I really suggest you guys to uh, check it out. What about top horror movies? <laughs> yeah, maybe someday I can uh, separate those playlists into uh, separate genres, maybe. But at the moment, uh, I have that top movies for all genres. So far, 63 movies uh, were included because it doesn't happen that much that we have uh, an IMDb rate more than eight. It's very hard to get that. And it was just my taste, by the way. I didn't care about the average score in IMDb. It's just my taste, but let me know what do you think about those movies that I selected there. And sometimes I also selected some movies which I didn't give more than eight score in IMDb, but in fact, they were very unique and they were special. So uh, sometimes I included such movies also inside, but usually more than eight. Your taste is very good. Thank you very much for your positive comment. I'm glad to hear it. So for top video games, uh, I think it's not more than 20 uh, video games inside the list. Uh, because it's not also easy to get more than 18 IMDb for those games, but they were again, just my taste. And for top Russian songs, we have also one top uh, playlist about uh, top Russian songs there. And since uh, the year 2000, I'm following this genre and I, I have pretty much good knowledge about Russian music. And that's why this playlist uh, could be very valuable and very interesting for those who are interested to check it out. So Russian music is very interesting and uh, Russian Russians themselves, they don't like Russian music that much, to be honest. When you talk with them, usually they listen to the music that you guys also listen for internationally. But the thing is that I really found that music interesting and uh, I think we can uh, pay more attention to it. Uh, they, they have potential. It is true sometimes, like many countries, they steal music from other famous music bands. This is not good. I don't want to give uh, any name, but it's happening also in Russia, which I don't like. If you copy from one music, please tell, for example, I got at least inspired by this music. So it's not nice to just compose something, publish it and say, this is my music because it's a copy. You just remix that music. It's not composing that music. So uh, this, this happens. But anyway, I selected the best uh, inside, inside that playlist. I didn't consider a Russian rock there or Russian rap or hip hop 
because that's also a big deal in Russia. Usually they prefer uh, rap or rock and metal music in Russia comparing to pop. But anyways, I try to just consider them. For their rock music, some of them I actually shared on my top rock and metal uh, music playlist as well. So you can check them out there. Okay, and about another playlist named Lectures. This one I've created because uh, I also teach in university and university ex expects us to uh, post some videos for our lectures. And I wanted to also share them with the world. Like I know that uh, in some universities, they don't have this chance to get uh, good education and uh, it's not that much organized. That's why uh, all the time, even from the previous semesters, I received some requests about uh, statistics, for example, like, can you please uh, have a video related to statistics? It was a good chance so that uh, while university is asking us, I also could share it on YouTube so everyone else can also get benefit from them. It's uh, more than 100 videos there inside the lectures playlist for those who are interested in statistics, bioinformatics, discrete mathematics, or computational structures. And also I included some uh, software, uh, yes, software tutorials, like for Microsoft packages there, for C programming, also you can check them out there. But later for this playlist, uh, I have some ideas that Maybe I will talk about specific topics for master and PhD students. But for the time being, uh, I'm going to upload the things that the university wants me to do. But in the future, when I will have more time, for sure, I will consider it, especially if I will receive more subscribers, then I will give more time to it. But for the time being, I'm devoted to university and uh, it's hard to imagine that I will give that much time to those things now. Okay, guys, so I think uh, it was useful to just talk about the playlist so that you get idea of what's going on there. So my YouTube channel, as you observe, is not about a specific topic. It contains a variety of topics there, various topics. And uh, I want uh, multiple, uh, how to say, multidimensional people to join and subscribe to our YouTube channel, those especially that they shared the same interests. And I already found so many new friends from our Instagram live shows. And I want to do the same uh, in my YouTube channel. So if you guys uh, haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, I really suggest you guys to give it a try. The name is the same, Dr. Tuam. If you search on YouTube, you can find it. The link is also in the bio section uh, on our Instagram page and you can find it there as well. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I will see you guys in our next live show uh, next Sunday. Uh, usually for uh, the next live shows, I try not to say exactly which date it will be especially when I will have uh, interviews with famous people, they are usually busy. So in that case, uh, when we set a date, sometimes we need to change it later. They suddenly understand that they should record something on that day. And they, uh, for example, get the studio exactly at that specific day. So because of such things, I need to reschedule. It happens a lot. That's why I rather to say just coming soon. But know that next Sunday, most probably, we will have that live show uh, with the cosplayer. I uh, actually shared the uh, advertisement with you. Uh, she's a cosplayer from Argentina who lives in Japan. And we will talk about uh, her interest and also about some interesting video games that she plays and also, for example, that Detroit become human that I'm also very interested in that uh, video game and we will talk about it also for sure. Dr. Tom is amazing. Thank you so much for your shows and YouTube content. Thank you very much, guys, for your positive comments. 
and uh, I will see you guys on uh, our next live show and hopefully on YouTube. Don't forget that. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me today. See you. Bye bye.